Welcome back to the Film Neighbor Network. Today, we're gonna to be going over different editing techniques. Editing is an integral part to the storytelling process. By utilizing slower, quick cuts, specific music, video transitions, and so on, you have a lot of control over the emotions and the pacing of the piece. A match cut creates a visual match between two different locations or scenes to work as a visual transition. This can be used in place of an actual video transition, such as a cross dissolve or a dip to black, this is usually an edit that the director has in mind prior to the editing process because they have to make sure they film the two different scenes to match in post. The match cut I used in my short film goes from a close-up of the Lego figure with his sunglasses on to a close-up of Gabe with his sunglasses on to work as a visual transition from the scene in the living room to the scene in her bedroom. But why do we have to look nice? The montage is an editing technique that most people are familiar with. It's a series of shots cut back to back that together create a continuous sequence. Montages are often used to showcase a passage of time. I incorporated a lot of montages in my short film to showcase all the craziness going on at this party that she brought her younger brother to. A majority of the short film takes place at the party and rather than watching all the events play out in real time, it was just easier to put everything together in a montage and have play out over the course of a few seconds. Cross-cutting, also known as parallel editing, is cutting back and forth between different scenes playing out to show that they're taking place at the same time. In High Expectations, I utilized cross-cutting to show that Blaine confessing her crush on Haley and Gabe celebrating with all her friends was happening at the same time. Cutaway is exactly what it sounds like, cutting away to something else. In High Expectations, I utilize a cutaway when Blaine and her mom are having a discussion about the babysitter. We flash back to an incident that happened between the babysitter and Gabe, and then we cut back to their conversation. Yeah, I can't tonight. J cuts and L cuts are another commonly used editing technique. A J-cut is when the audio of the next clip comes in first, followed by the video. An L-cut is the opposite, where the audio of the previous clip continues while the video of the next clip shows up over it. These cuts are most often used in dialogue scenes, with L-cuts being used to show reaction shots. Here's a quick recap of all the terms we've covered in this video. Thanks for watching, and if you wanted to check out more helpful content, visit www.glowvideobuffalo.com forward slash FNN.